there's really no other word for it except addiction. Hi everybody, Asha Dornfest here from Parent Hacks and I want to talk to you today about video game addiction. I am embarrassed to say this, but my son is addicted to video games and it does not seem to matter that we've placed limits on it. It doesn't seem to matter that we're stellar parents and we read and we do all sorts of other enriching activities and uh, we encourage him to play outside, all that good stuff. Still, he really is, I, I, there's really no other word for it except addiction. He waits for his video game time. In fact, will literally sit on the couch languishing saying, is it time yet? Is it time yet? It's oh, it drives me nuts. Asha, I completely empathize with you because I also have a big time video game player in my house in the form of my eight year old. And I always feel like whenever I talk about video games with other parents, I, I feel like I have to qualify talking about how much my son is into video games by saying something like, oh, well, he also loves reading and he totally loves going outside and playing and doing, going into doing sports and everything else. Um, but he absolutely adores playing video games. He is a voracious video game player. He loves them. You know, if this topic had come up a few months ago, I might have been equally um, agitated about how much my son loves video games, but um, he sort of got burned out, I think, at some point when he just played so much that, uh, I don't know, he's kind of forgotten about him. It's weird. I, I think if you had asked me six months ago, I wouldn't have believed that ever would have happened. So maybe the trick is to be a really bad parent, not set any limits, let your kid just play until he wants to puke. It just seems like, in many ways, his video games are so stimulating that they've just rendered everything else boring. I don't know if this is helpful to you, Asha, but what we're more inclined to do is say that there are certain days you can play video games, like Saturday morning, go nuts, play three or four levels of LEGO Star Wars, um, then give him, say, a half an hour to play on any day. Because I just feel like that, that's more it just involves more fighting, it's harder. <laughs> it's much clearer to say this is not a video game day. I think that some people, if they have the perspective that video games just rot your brain and that there's nothing good that can come from them, I think that those people, and I don't think any of us are like that, but I do know moms who are like that. I have moms in my acquaintance who think that they're just one step up from selling dope. I actually grew up playing video games. I don't think they're the devil. I like them. And I know well that feeling of getting hooked into something and you don't want to get out of it. I'm also wondering if this is a boy thing because those are my friends who have daughters. I've not, a one of them has ever talked about this being a problem for them. And yet um, some of my friends who have young boys do. And so I wonder what it is about video games that just hooks into little boys' brains the way that they do. It seems to be sort of like a boy thing. I mean, Alice is talking about this with her son and I have my boys and it's when, whenever uh, my son has his friends over and even with his four-year-old brother who's, he, who isn't really quite up to like the Xbox and the Wii but he loves playing the, the DSi. He plays some stuff on the Wii but he really like likes his DSi. Um, when they have friends over, all of the boys congregate on my sofa and they freak out over video games. And the girls are like, really? We could care less. If he's playing with somebody else, like with the uh, Nintendo Lego Star Wars, for instance, or Lego Indiana Jones, you often need a partner and he gets really mad and his behavior just goes down the toilet because he's you know, demanding that the other person do this the right way. And Liam does that from time to time and we're like, I'll shut it off. If you cannot find a better way to exhibit your frustration than this, then you are not, you are not able to play this game unless you get your emotions in check. And that kind of helps him. It's sort of like an incentive for him to work through his emotions a little bit better. I would love to hear what your experience has been and if you have any advice for me at all. Join the Momversation at momversation.com. Yeah.